1971 Plymouth Cuda. And this car is rather special because it's only one of 129 produced with the 446 barrel. Yep, in 1971, that was still available and it even had a compression ratio of 10.3 to 1. I guess at that point, Plymouth hadn't quite given up on the whole muscle car craze. It was rated 385 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. If we take a look inside, you'll find a drag race friendly and ultra reliable Torque Flight three-speed automatic transmission, and then out back is a set of 410 gears. And does it get any better than that? 71 Cuda, 446 barrel, Torque Flight, 410 gears, that's a 10. But don't let all of that fool you. This car does have a weakness, and that is its weight. The Cuda might look like a smaller vehicle, but it's really not, and it's actually kind of heavy. With driver, 3,904 pounds. Super Stock Magazine tested a 71 Cuda with this exact configuration. It had a 446 barrel, 410 gears, and a three-speed automatic transmission, and it ran 13.72 seconds at 106 miles miles per hour. Let's check out that opponent. 1968 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova. And just like the Cuda, this Nova's got a very special engine under the hood. You're looking at a 396 cubic inch V8, and if you really pay attention, you'll see a set of L89 aluminum heads. Yes, from the factory that year, you could get a set of aluminum heads. Now this car didn't come with those from the factory, but since they were available, you can use them in this drag class. Now if any 68 Novas actually came from the factory with L89 aluminum heads, well, that's an argument for another day. Regardless, the aluminum heads had the exact same specs as the iron heads. They were just made out of aluminum, so they saved about 80 pounds off the front of the car. You would otherwise find Ford's internals, a solid lifter cam, a Holly 780, an aluminum intake manifold, and get this, the compression ratio, 11 to 1 from the factory. Aluminum heads or not, this thing was rated 375 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. And if you think it doesn't get any better, let's take a look inside. Oh yeah, four-speed manual. Rejoice, Chevrolet fans. Hallelujah. 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 And then we get to the rear gearing. And this car might not be that fun on the highway, but it should take off like a rocket. 456 rear gears. I get the feeling this little Nova might be a handful off the line with that gearing and a four-speed manual transmission. It's probably obvious, but the Chevy 2 Nova isn't a very heavy car. This one with driver, 3,604 pounds, and that gives it exactly 300 pounds advantage over the Cuda. 1968 Novas with the L78 engine are fairly rare, though not quite as rare as the Cuda. There were 667 produced, and 617 of those had the four-speed manual transmission. And again, if there were any that truly came from the factory with the L89 aluminum heads, well, that's up for debate. Car and Driver Magazine tested a 68 Nova with an L78 396 engine, four-speed manual transmission, and a set of 355 rear gears, and it ran zero to 60 in only 5.9 seconds, and the quarter mile in 14.5 seconds at 101 miles per hour. With that trap speed and that slow of an ET, I'm guessing they had some major traction issues, but let's see what this car can do today. Here comes Russian. Coming up next. Chris Teed out of Orlando, Florida, 68 Chevy, 396 horse speed car, L89 Nova. He's going up against Jason Dollar and Cole on a fun. He goes through 1281 with a 2 at 114. He was losing. In the first round, the Nova had a fantastic reaction time, so even though their ET was slightly slower, this allowed them to cross the finish line first and take home the win. They ran 12.81 seconds at 114.19 miles per hour, and in the other lane, the Cuda looked very impressive, running 12.75 seconds at 110.28 miles per hour. Let's check out that second round and see if the Plymouth can even the score. Jason Dara from Flint, Michigan. 
In the second round, the Nova had a case of Muncie-itis and missed the 1-2 shift, a plague that is unfortunately somewhat common with a Muncie shifter, so the CUDA takes home the win, running 12.58 seconds at 110.28 miles per hour, and the Nova ran a time that we just won't talk about. With this best of three tied one all, let's check out that final round. Chris T, Florida bound, 1968 Chevrolet, 396-4B, In the final round, it's the CUDA that takes home the win, running 12.45 seconds at 110.70 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Nova ran 12.67 seconds at 114.31 miles per hour. A huge thanks to both of the owners for bringing out these cars. It was absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. I'll catch you guys at the next one.